How many atoms of carbon are in a sample of sucrose with the formula C12H22O11 that contains 34.6 grams of oxygen? So we're going to start with grams of oxygen. And as always, we're going to change it to moles of oxygen. And from moles O, we'll use our mole ratio to get moles of carbon. And then we'll use Avogadro's number to get atoms of carbon. Okay, so we're going to start off with 34.6 grams of oxygen. And we're going to use the molar mass. So we'll put grams of O on the bottom. 16.00 grams in one mole of O. All right, and then we're going to use our mole ratio here. And we're going to go from moles O on the bottom to moles carbon on top. And we can see these numbers up here. Uh, from the formula, so we're going to put 11 in front of oxygen and 12 in front of carbon. That's our mole ratio, comes from the formula. And then lastly, we're going to get rid of moles carbon and get atoms carbon. So usually in front of moles, as you can see, it is small whole numbers, and in front of atoms, we're going to put Avogadro's number. All right, so when we multiply this all out, we get 1.42 times 10 to the 24th atoms of carbon. We've got three significant digits.